Yo, what up, y'all? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. I just wanted to give my final thoughts because the big, the max out card is tomorrow. Cassidy Hitman. You already know they made an announcement. Clone is filling in for Sirius Jones against Big K. But really, I wanted to give my final thoughts on Cassidy Hitman. Now, I see, after the face-off, I see that people have kind of, the, 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 the feeling of the culture or the, or the, uh, for lack of better term, I guess, or the climate in the culture has kind of teetered in Cassidy's direction a little bit. I still see a lot of people saying Hitman 30, Hitman 2-1, but I'm hearing more people with a little more confidence in Cassidy coming into this battle. I'm one of those people, but not because of the face-off. I felt that way before when the battle was announced. Now, why I feel that way, like I said, has nothing to do with the face-off. I feel like they both kept the same energy that they always have during the face-off. We didn't see anything different out of either of them. Hitman Holla has always been a hothead. Cassidy has always been cocky, always been confident, almost almost to the point of cockiness. You know what I'm saying? And he also knows he's not telling the truth in a lot. In some of these things, he knows he's exaggerating, but he knows he's a, tr he's a troll. He's trying to get under your skin and fuck you up, fuck your head up and get in your head. But I don't think that works with Hitman because when you think you might be in his head, it's really just him being him. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Cassidy is in his head. Now that whole thing could have been staged too. I don't think it was staged on Hitman's side necessarily. Could have been all orchestrated, but during the face-off, when he's really when Hitman is really going like from zero to a hundred, you know what I'm saying? You see Cassidy sitting there egging him on after he's spitting the Jay-Z shit. And I heard people kind of speculating what he was spitting at the beginning of that is Jay-Z, motherfucker. Go go look. He wasn't spitting his bars. He was spitting Jay-Z. Come on, man. Y'all supposed to know hip-hop. What's up? Y'all supposed to know hip-hop. But anyway, where was I at? Oh, yeah. He was right when he was like kind of when Hitman was really getting heated. You know what I'm saying? And standing up. Cassidy, there's a point in that face-off where Cassidy smiles. Turns and smiles at ARP. Come on, y'all. That tells you all you need to know. Cassidy came in knowing what he was going to do, knowing that <laughs> that's Cassidy's whole motherfucking game plan when he comes into a face-off or comes in speaking to Hitman Holla at all. You know what I'm saying? That was his, that, that was his, game plan going into the fucking face-off was to get under hitman's skin and rile him up you know what i'm saying but why do i think cassidy could win this battle well there's a number of factors several factors one of them being his experience in modern day battle rap because when i think of reed dollars like, I do a comparison, kind of. I know Reed Dollars was a little more willing to listen to people and adjust. But we don't know that for real. Like, we we don't know Cassidy. It takes experience. Usually, when somebody comes into this modern-day format of battle rap from a different era, it takes two, three battles. It took Reed Dollars. Remember, we thought he what didn't have it or wasn't cut for this new era. He couldn't adjust to the new era, and he did. And he beat Rum Nitty. Now, it took him three battles or so, three, four battles to get it together and to, and, to, and to really adjust his material and his performance to the new age format of battle rapping, the new era of battle rapping. Now, the modern day battle rap format. Now, Cassidy's had a good showing against disaster in a small room. I have an okay showing against Goods and a, and a not so good showing against Arsenal. Neither of them did. You can call that battle debatable because both, neither of them were very good. You know what I'm saying? I don't think in that battle. But like I said in a prior blog, you learn a lot more from a loss. That's what humbles you. Before then, nobody, 
People even said that Goods battle was debatable. So he still thought he was doing it right. What he was doing was right. He got more negative feedback from the Arsenal battle. And that is when you, you like I say, you don't learn as much from a win because you think what you're doing is right. If people are telling you in the culture that they wasn't feeling you and that they think that you lost, debatably lost, more people than before are coming at you with that type of shit. It's going to it's going to just cause more humility inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Whether you show it or not. You know what I'm saying? You learn more from a loss. That's why I always like to say it's not wins and losses, it's wins and lessons. Because every loss can be a lesson. So you can really gain something from every loss. So it's not a loss, you're gaining. So it's wins and lessons. I just think Cassidy gained more from that Arsenal battle than he did off of either of the first two this or goods so i think because of that and because of now i don't think jag being around him has that much of a makes that much of a difference people are saying jag got it right when he came back or somewhat right he sounded good well so did fucking cassidy against disaster in a small room jag jag hasn't had to rock a big stage yet he's had two small room battles if Cassidy had nothing but small room battles, we'd be saying the same thing about him. Damn, he figured it out. He'd been out here cook. We'll really find out whether Jag has figured it out or not, or has it figured out on this Max Out card. It will be his first big stage battle. So I don't think he necessarily has it figured out until he shows me. You know what I'm saying? It shows us. Cassidy did well in the small room too. Just remember that. You know what I'm saying? But I think that the loss to Arsenal or the debatable battle against Arsenal, whatever you want to call it, made or helped him to figure out some of those things and to and to uh and to and, and helped him realize what he needs to adjust on a big stage. Cause he can rock the small room, but on a big stage in front of a big crowd. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, also, also <sighs> smack events are a lot different. URL events are way different from RBE events. The crowds aren't nearly as hostile. They usually let the MCs get it off. They usually let the battlers get their bars off. That's another huge variable to this equation. Is the crowd going to let them rock? Because the Philly and the Atlanta crowds in, at the Smack events didn't. And they were just terrible crowds. Those crowds are hard to deal with anyway. You know what I'm saying? And when they're expecting this out of you, like, like, you're Cassidy, so they're expecting you to just annihilate and just do the most most incredible shit. If you do anything less than that, they're going to be disgruntled. And RBE crowds, normally, ARP and them, their environment's different, and they like it. That I think they take pride in that. So I'm expecting this crowd to probably let Cassidy, Cassidy get his shit off more, at least. And he'll probably be a lot more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different in the building. People always say, I heard Show Off just say it the other day, the RBE feeling is different. You know what I'm saying? He said, I was comfortable. It was different from anywhere else. Even when people are, it's just comfortable. It's more, he just said he felt like he was at home. I get it. I just think though, for those reasons, Cassidy is going to show up and have a very, and have a very solid much better performance. We're going to see a different Cassidy. We're going to see the best version of Cassidy we have seen in this modern day format of battle rap because of all these variables and because I just think he's learned more off of that Arsenal battle. And he finally, and I think that listening to some of his interviews, he's that, whatever it was, probably that and the following comments and criticism that he took has humbled him in a way, you know what I'm saying? Whether he likes to admit it or not. We're going to see a different Cassidy, man. But the show or the face-off had nothing to do with it. I just think you're going to see a different Cassidy regardless because he's had the warm-up battles and the tune-up battles, and I think that he's tuned up enough and adjusted enough to be effective because he's got the ability and the writing ability and the ability to punch, and I want to see him throw some haymakers. So I'm excited for it. Those are my final thoughts. I got Cassidy 2-1, baby. I'm changing to Cassidy 2-1. I'm changing my pick, man, just because I want to see it for the culture. And I think we're going to see a different Cassidy. It's your boy. Holla at me. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media. 
Hooli Vision. I'm it's your boy. I'm out of here.